Hey, sports enthusiasts. Welcome back to another episode of Culture and Sports, where we believe culture is critical to long-term success. We take the positive and the negative experiences from our guests with the intent to create a better sports culture for future generations. <laughs> Welcome back to yet another episode here at the Culture and Sports Podcast. We are your hosts. I'm Wesley Livingston. I'm Mike Scarmella. And today we have two very special guests today. Uh, we have a father-son duo. We have a coach-athlete duo, um, friends of mine, uh, Jacoby and Jay. How you doing, guys? Nice. Well, we want to get into it like kind of quickly with you guys because uh, a lot of stuff to talk about. Uh, so I just want to kind of find out, you know, what kind of sports you guys are into. Jacoby, I know that you have uh, uh, a sports background. So why don't you tell us a little bit about, you know, um, uh, some of the sports that you loved and kind of that you kind of pushed towards Jay over there. Yeah, I started playing basketball from as early as I can remember. Um, I was raised in Louisiana and I stayed out there with my grandma. So we were in the country and there wasn't really nothing to do. So the ball, the hoop ball in my hand, I would probably set the house on fire or something. So my grandma got me a little hoop and I spent my days, you know, honing my basketball skills. She, she encouraged you a lot to play? Was she always, always no, kind she of there? No, she just said, get out the house. <laughs> yes, sir. I was annoying her. Get out the house, push and go whoop, get a switch. That's what I'm saying. Like, go do something. Go uh, be productive. Get out and, you know, get yeah, some Yeah, I mean, get some either get beat or go play basketball. So I chose the latter of the two. I took my butt was outside. It, so, was, was it year round out there when you were when you were out there playing when you were younger? Is it? It was uh, just me. It was, it was just me. Season? There was no was season drop. No, it was just me and the hoop. <laughs> In the weeds. Now, out in Louisiana, do you have uh, they have nets out there? Uh, like no, 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 they have no net. That's you just had to assume yeah. it went in. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what, it went in. Yeah, right. Just, um, uh, so but yeah, growing um, up, and- so I started, you know, early age. I played middle school, high school, and then I was a red shirt in college. That didn't work out. Would, but yeah. would you say that? Uh, would Would you say that you're you, you playing basketball was something that you definitely pushed towards Jay? Or was that something that he kind of just picked up? Um, would you say? I, I think it was more of him being around because I, I continue to play into my adulthood, like in men's leagues, and you know I'm pretty sure his earliest memories was being on the sideline watching me play, and when he was finally able to actually pick up a ball and put it in the hoop on his own, kind of gravitated towards it itself, and then when he realized he was actually good at it. He invested more time because he wanted to be better. Oh, yeah. It's a lot. He heard about heard about my successes. You're and you're and you just like, kind of pick it up and be just as good as him. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Or he thinks he's going to be better than me, and I hope so. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's <laughs> the plan. As parents, we, we hope our kids are better than us in, in all aspects. But um, sort of, who, who are you? Uh... Yeah, we mute. What I'm good. Yeah. yeah. Mike, you hear me? I don't know. Yeah, how I, that you know. Um, I was like, uh, I can't. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, growing up for you, Kobe, uh, kind of who do you emulate like your game after? Who do you, who do you kind of so watch? Growing up, um, yeah. it was first person I saw play was Jordan because, uh, I guess in Louisiana, we got the California, or the Chicago channel. So I watched that with my grandpa, Michael Jordan. And then, nice. of course, Kobe came into the league, and he was the next thing to Jordan. So, you know, yeah. and then Steph came in the league, and that changed everything because he played like I played before. I knew he played like it. Exactly. Yeah, growing up, growing up with, you know, growing up with you, uh, yeah, he you've the always been that, that sharp shooter, that deep three before, you know, Steph was yeah. even in, in the game. You, you like that shot. Uh, and the handles and stuff. So I, I knew you emulized, you know, Kobe with the handles and, you know, Steph with the with the shot and, you know, the bravado with Jordan out there. Could you out there talking your stuff? You know how we do. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, you took a little bit of game from every, everybody. So, uh, so Jay, nice Jay, Jay, I got a question for you. You know, your dad was playing uh, men's leagues, you know, back in the day. Uh, you walked, you went, you went to a lot of those games, right? So you were saying that's kind of an influence on you. What do you, what do you have to say about that? Did you love going to the games, watching your dad play? Yeah, what's your earliest remembrance uh, like? I liked going. I really liked going because it inspired me to play. Yes. 
Absolutely. Yeah. So. Absolutely. Do you remember like, uh, do you remember when you were super young and you were able to kind of just like watch them? Um, uh, were you, were you kind of just like in shock? I mean, it, it, I remember when I was younger watching games and I remember watching my dad play baseball a little bit different, but I mean, uh, it's just like grown men playing the game. And at that time you're a kid, you're like, Hey, I just want to be there. You know? Yeah. Um, I don't really remember a lot. You just, you just, age, but now he's still like, I'm still in the men's league to this day. He comes and they're out there running around going crazy. Yeah, it's, it's wild. It's just like, you might not remember a lot, but your game is exactly like your dad's. You know what I'm saying? Like, you might not realize it, but subconsciously you picked up a lot that. of like, what your dad, you know, does and what he did growing up from, you know, what I remember playing with him. So oh, that's really cool. Um, was Growing up, did you say was basketball? Is basketball it? Like, is basketball with your? I'm sticking to basketball through through high school, or do you plan on playing other sports there? Uh, well, you started with football. I started with football. Then I started playing basketball because of my dad, and now I'm just gonna continue playing basketball. You like basketball more than football? Yeah. Oh yeah, you don't want to get hit. <laughs> Nobody did. I was as receivers. You know what? You would probably be a, what a receiver, or a, a DB. Yeah. Nobody trying to get hit. Like, hey, you know what you do? You switch to so- strong safety and you turn it turn it around on some people. <laughs> Shoot, when the running backs come up the middle, <laughs> it's, 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 it still hurts the same. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! So, um, uh, Jay, what position do you play? In basketball. Yeah. Uh, I play point guard. I play point guard because of many different NBA players mm-hmm. and also my dad. I play point guard because of Steph Curry. He's like a small guard like me. Yeah. And he, he has a higher IQ than most players on the court. And I feel the same. So, so when you play, do you think of different things? Do you think of assists? Do you think of scoring? Do you think of blocks? Do you think of all that different stuff? Or are you, are you guys are you thinking about scoring? Uh, you know, what? what's your mindset when you go onto the uh, basketball court? Uh, probably scoring and passing the ball yeah. to get yeah. my teammates' points and myself points. Which is refreshing because you don't see that too often in, like, the young – like, you know, you have somebody that learns how to, you know, learns how to make the assist, learns how to shoot. I mean, you're, it's just going to be way better, I feel like, in the future uh, for those – one kids that, you know, decide that all they want to do is score or they just want to do, you know, one specific thing, you know, they're one dimensional where it's nice where, you know, we see, even we see, you know, younger guys and I'm sure that Kobe, that it's probably some of your influence where you're like, Hey, just don't worry about scoring all the time. You got to actually do other things to get to that next level, which is kind of a cool thing. Keep your teammates involved and they won't play hard for you. Yeah. They're not going to run the, run the court. I mean, we all know Jay, you, you're a scorer. Right, like, uh, yeah. are are you not the number one scorer in your in your league, or did you? No, I you, I was. Yeah, you were. Didn't you get MVP of your league this year? Yeah, still yeah. talking about assists. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, let's, let's talk about that. Like, so I was, like, that's important. You know, that's a that's a big yeah. deal. For that's you're a, a centerpiece for your your league, essentially. Uh-huh. You know, so um, it is important. Like, you do score a lot of points, but you do know, like, defense is important and assisting is important and being a good teammate, being a good a leader on your team because you are a captain, you're a leader. So, so that's, that's super important to, to keep in mind that you are you are a number one scorer, you are an MVP in your league, but keeping that mindset that, you know. It's not all about It's scoring. a lot of responsibility. Yeah. You know, just a lot of responsibility having that, which is, and you hold it like a young man you are, you hold it well. So that's uh, really cool. Kobe, do you, so are you, um, are you coaching Jay right now at all besides like um, off the court? Are you, have you, have you coached him on a team or anything Not like right that? Now. Um, we, we got in a few other business ventures, so we put it on pause for a little bit, but hopefully we get the league rolling by summer. Nice. Yeah, we should be back. But right now we're, we, we redirected our focus. So um, by summer we should be rolling mm-hmm. again now. What are we doing for? Are we doing uh? What kind of training are we doing? Are we doing are we doing hills like we used to do back in the day? Are we uh? Are we yeah, just oh, putting out how many shots we putting up? Fifty push ups, fifty sit up regimen, and then Jay, how do you feel about the regimen? Yeah. Uh, it's tough. Yeah. 
It'll be worth it. There, yes, sir. <laughs> I see you, baby. I see you. <laughs> it's tough, but I feel like it helps me on my game. So I like help you like keep your stamina, right? You're trying to build up good routines. Yeah. I'm trying to yeah. practice good habits. So it becomes well, it, you know. Not only that, but that'll teach you for other things. You know, later on in life, hey, you get through a hard regiment, there's going to be hard things that you got to do throughout your entire life. So you just put your head down, you get it done. And I mean, it's just the same thing. I mean, and, and Jacoby, that's freaking awesome that you're you're, you're kind of able to to do that, kind of set it up for for uh, Jay like that, because I mean, you're going to come over, you're going to come across times in life that are hard and you just got to kind of push through and get it done. And I mean, this is a, a great way, I feel like, to start within sports and uh, training yeah. and things like that. So build good habits. Nice yeah, Jay, like you're in a super unique situation, you know, having your dad being able to coach you, you know, like not a lot of kids get that experience, you know, so you get that, you get that, that harsh, that tough love and you get that, you know, the, the coaching, the regular coaching life too. But um, what, is, what is your experience? Like, how do you, how do you like uh, having your dad as your coach? You know, was, obviously it's awesome, but it's, it's hard, right? Not all the time. <laughs> like it's funny that you I say like that. Him, I have some words to say after Jay here. I like him being my coach because he's like tough on me, mm -hmm. not like my other coaches, and so he's m mostly the reason I um this good on the court. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, I had, had some aspirations. So I had a similar to my dad was my NBA. coach. What's up? I said, he, he told me he wanted to go to the NBA. So I'm like, if you want to go to the NBA, you got to try and train way harder than other kids. A lot of kids are out there just because their parents want them to be out the court, get off Fortnite. Uh, if you want to go to the NBA, you have to work 10 times harder than everybody right. else because only 2% of the population. Like, it's a small percentage of people make it to the next level. Make it to the highest level. You know, the next, maybe the next level, but the highest level. When you're talking about the league, you know, that's, yeah. that's a whole different, yeah, exactly. And even just to get to college now, but you know, it's the com competitiveness is is crazy, you know. And not even just athletically, academically, you have to be on both on both aspects, you know, to to get in where you fit. Two so, you got to be mental and physical. Yeah, we're not we're, we're not just uh, raising athletes; they're student athletes now. You know, we're like, yeah. like when we were growing up, we were just we just wanted us to be athletes. You know, just I don't we care just what. To be, go play outside. <laughs> just get outside. <laughs> yeah, I remember just like. So I had a similar experience. My dad was my coach growing up a long time. And, uh, you know, I wanted to be a professional baseball player. That's what I wanted to do. Uh, so same kind of thing. You know, I, I got pushed harder. Uh, there was times where it was, it was way tougher. I mean, having a dad as a coach is a hundred times harder than yeah. not. But at That's the same time, you know, that extra push. And it's it's not only that, but it's just like I want to I want to become pro, but I also want to make my dad proud. I want to do other things. Um and I remember it being a stressful situation, but also, I mean, it was the best thing that could have happened. I mean, I ended up getting a scholarship for baseball because of it. Uh, and it just gives you like that extra push to work harder, I feel like. So, I mean, it's it's it's, it's a cool thing to do. And um, when you have that that mentor or that guide there for you uh, to kind of push you along the whole way, even though it's tough, uh, it's just, I think it's going to be better for you down the road no matter what. And when you can see it, it's, it's different. You know, seeing your dad go to the league, you know, like you went. You know, you play professional ball. You know, you won a ring in Canada. You know, so that's like those little things like that, like just seeing it that it's possible. You know, and seeing you know, what what hard work and your dedication. And don't get me wrong, I've I've fought my dad on the baseball field. And in, in, I remember in high school, oh, yeah. I, 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 I was there. Wesley was there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's been there. Yeah. My dad used to get into fights on the field of third baseline. You know, but uh, at the same time, you know, it was all love after that. Uh, but I mean, it was just because anytime I did something wrong. I, I got an earful for it. And everybody else would get, you know, they get some of it, but being a, a coach's son, you get more than anybody else, I feel like, you know? Yeah. Makes it makes it fun. Standard. Absolutely, yeah. So, uh, Jay, who do, you, uh, who do you think your game most resembles right now, today? Or who, or who do you see yourself emulating kind of your game after? Or if there's a mixture of players, you can do that too. I see myself playing as Steph Curry and my dad. Yeah. Because my dad's small and I'm small. 
deaf's small and I'm small. So I like they can both shoot, I can shoot. They can both pass, I can pass. I can do a lot of things they can both do, but not mm-hmm. perfectly like they can. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and you shouldn't, it's not going to be perfect. You'll right? get there. I mean, yeah. No one's really yeah. perfect. Neither, that's that's no, none, neither of them are perfect. You know, we strive to be perfect. Yeah. We try to be the best that we can. Um, but yeah, that's, that's super, like it's, and it's crazy because yeah, you guys, you, you're small, but your range, I don't, I don't get where your range, you guys get your range from. Like I'm, I'm six, three, bro. I'm six, three. And I still have trouble getting the ball all the way over there. Like where you, where do you work on? How do you get that? How do you work on that, getting uh, your range? Well, most of the time, it's just, like, shooting a lot of shots. Shooting a lot of shots from that range in that area. Build up muscle memory. Mm-hmm. How, are you putting up a certain amount of shots a day, or? Yeah. You're just playing, you just play when you, like, as much as you can. I play as much as I can and get as much shot stuff as I can. During yeah, I got a question for you. Real serious question. You got two seconds left. Ball's coming to you. Where are you going to shoot from? Where do you want to shoot from? You do I'm going to I'm going to dribble, shoot it from midcourt. Hopefully it goes in. I like it. I love oh, wait, it. Wait, wait, wait. Say it again. Are we down by two? No, no, no. Okay. All right. Yeah. So yeah, let me, let me, let me, real let's put a real, let's put a better situation to it. Okay. Better situation. Two seconds left. You're down by, you're down by two and you're getting it. You're, you're taking it out from, uh, no, not from half court. I'd say even from, from behind, from behind the board, you're taking it out for your teammates taking it out from behind the board. They're passing it to you with two seconds left. You're down by two. Where do you want to shoot it? Uh, I'm gonna take one dribble, get past that half court line, shoot it. Oh, he's, he's on it. He's like, <laughs> I'm coming up like ASAP. Like he's like, and it's coming to you. You know. That. And then what do you do yeah, after? Yeah. You, what do you do after you win the game? Uh, yeah, he's, he's gonna take a Fortnite day. I already know it. You're gonna take a Fortnite celebration. Let's see it. <laughs> no, probably, probably gonna like. They gonna do the shimmy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, know, you do that. Dad's taking you out to some some kind of food or something right after that. You got to be doing something after a, a half court shot win Ooh. for. Uh... <laughs> It'd be exciting. I don't. I Are you? Can't do it. What uh, would you say your personality on the court is? What would you say um, like? Are you? Are you? Are you a hype? Are you are you silent? Are you the silent shooter? Are you the, uh, the voice on the court? The time, that... Now I'm talking. I like talking to my teammates now because I noticed if I didn't talk to them, they wouldn't like. They wouldn't be able to do anything because most yeah. of the time when I sit on the bench, we end up going down. So I have to talk to them for them to get in the rhythm and start scoring without me on the court. Yeah, so you, when you're even when you're on the bench and you're talking, you're talking to your teammates around the court, like kind of giving them guidance and you know being that leader still, even when you're not. And that's that's so important. You know, you can't be a leader just when you're playing on the on the court. You know what I'm saying? You can't be a leader just because you're the number one scorer in the league. It's it's everything. See, and I feel like I know, awesome. I know Jacoby pretty well, and I feel like he's the guy that's talking to the other team. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's crazy. I'm I'm quiet on the court. Oh man, that's what yeah, I got. I, I want to ask you that. I want to ask you that too. Like, how was it like seeing your son out there, and like in those situations where you know maybe a kid you know bumps him or runs into him, like yeah, or, you know, or he's running people out. over or doing something like that. Yeah, yeah it's both situations. Yeah. Both I, I just tell them you got to keep this cool. You know, they want to keep the game. If they get you thrown out, then you can't help your team from the bench. That's true. Exactly. Smart. So you got to keep this composure and you know lead by example. Yeah, we can't. We all can't be like Antonio Brown and just walk off on the, just walk <laughs> off on the, on the squad. You know, like we gotta be accountable, and hold yourself. Yeah, yeah. Because that's that's that's, that's crazy. Because like like I have two girls. You know, you got a little girl now too. Um, yeah. So you're gonna. But I, I would love to be able to coach. You know them and you know whatever they do. But at the same time, I realize that my coaching 
is going to be different. Like, like Jay says, it, it should be a little tougher when your parents are coaching you. Like, you're not, you don't yeah. get baby, you know, just random parents that are coaching your kids because they don't want to say the wrong thing type thing, you know? Yeah, you got to walk on that show. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so when, you're, when your mother or father is out there coaching you, I'm not walking on nothing. I'm just walking yeah. on glass, and I don't care. <laughs> you know, so. Because it's not just coaching, it's parenting, too. Yeah. That's life lessons out there. Well, and I don't have a, I don't have any kids right now, but I mean, that's got to be a pretty p- proud feeling to just, you know, kind of have your son follow your, your footsteps, playing basketball, loving it, enjoying it, you know, yeah. working with get, you, getting out, get, being able to play with you, bro. That's fun, man. Yeah, I get joy out of it because, you know, I see the hard work paying off. And I know he's tried to put, he tried to put the time in. And sometimes he gets off, like, unfocused. So we just refocus and then get back to the ground. Jay, how old are you? I am eleven. Eleven. So, so you so you're so you're, you're not a hundred percent focused on something at one time. I feel like that never happens. At one <laughs> so, so you're 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 totally good, my friend. You are totally good. Yeah, at twelve years old, I don't like what I was doing. I was doing a bunch of different stuff. The other day, I so, yeah, no, that's all the, it was rolling down the street with a rollerblade, a skateboard, and a basketball. I know what you were doing. I mean, yeah, we didn't know what the hell we were doing. <laughs> and a hockey stick. It's like, where you going? I don't know. Maybe. With a cowboy hat on, <laughs> absolutely. So, uh, Jay, when's your uh, you guys are in between seasons right now, right? Uh, he is. No, you. Oh, no, no, no. In the off season. Off season right now. Off season. Mm-hmm. Off season. Nice. You excited yeah. for you excited for the next season? Is there anything that you're looking forward to more than than anything? I mean, I feel like even since the last time I saw you, you're 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 bigger than what I remember. Yeah. And that was only, what, six months ago, I think. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm most excited for playing with a better team. Like, playing with a better team and, like, I don't really have to talk much for them to understand what I'm trying to help them focus on. Like, sometimes Are I don't you- want my teammates to talk to me and help me out on the court. Well, most of the time, that never happens. It should go both ways, right? Like, sometimes you need that, that little pick-me-up, that little word of encouragement or that little piece of advice from a teammate. And I'm sure when you get, you know, as, as things go, people are going to develop a little bit more. I mean, communication on the field, no matter what it is, baseball, basketball, football, communication is huge. So, I mean, I feel like that you know that at a young age is a huge thing because a lot of people don't know that at your age. Uh, and it makes it makes the game so much more difficult when you when you're not communicating with your team um and so i definitely think that you'll you'll run into that more and more in the future here for sure yeah so once it gets on like the rec leagues into like aau basketball it'll be everybody on the same playing field like right now it's the rec leagues they're kind of like it's a bunch of kids it's not really yeah. their focus they're probably always just running around just the aau basketball it's like a different beast you got a lot a lot of life lessons out on that court yeah, it's like that step up, that AAU, and then to, to high school, and then the high school to you know college or travel or whatever you do in between that. And then it's crazy to see that development between like you know the ages where it's like you know you have some guys that do know a lot of stuff about uh, communication and different parts of the game, and you know other people are just focused on one aspect of it. Uh, you know, looking down the road, you could really kind of see who actually makes it. Uh, to high school, to college, to to the pros. After that, it's those people that had every part of that game, uh, rather than just the one aspect of it. So, I mean, it's it's a good thing that you guys are doing that. Is there anything else, Jacoby, that you're you're kind of uh, pushing towards Jay right now? Anything else that you're working on uh, specifically that you think is going to help him in the future here? Just uh, you no know, keeping his emotions and in, in, um, under control. Don't let a situation get the better of him. Because sometimes I would see him. A play not go his way, or a call not go his way, and get shut down for a couple of plays. And I'm like, I played basketball for 30, 30 years, and I've never seen a referee change his call. So just let it go. <laughs> good point. Yeah, that's good. Changing that call. Don't mess up your whole rest of your day. Yeah, your yeah. Game. Being, being bad ain't gonna help anything unless it's unless it's part of your game. Some people have that in their game where it's like you know you could. And, and honestly, that's one thing that you learn later in life. Life, you know, you focus that on the, uh, that part of your game, and then. You know, he might have pissed you off, but at the same time, you're going to play yeah. twice as good because of that. So yeah, redirect that energy. Oh, 
Do you ever feel, you, you guys are, you ever feel that way, Jay? Do you feel like uh, there's any emotion, uh, any specific emotion that you feel that makes you play better? Like, are you better when you're mad? Are you better when you're happy? Are you better when you're, you know, relaxed? I feel like I'm, I play better when I'm mad because my, like, I start to heat up and get frustrated. Yeah, so I want to win now. Okay. So that competitive it nature makes right me there. Play harder. That's yeah. good. That's good. And it's good that it makes you play harder. And I feel like that's something that Jacoby, that you're, you're teaching right now. It's like it's controlling the emotions rather than yeah. going out and, and throwing a fit. Yeah. Let's go 25 more points, you know, or, you know, something you like go. that. You know, that's a bigger, that's a bigger flex. That's a bigger that's flex a bigger than flex anything. Than being right there, yeah. And like, you know, stomping around and popping. Like, oh, you go made a bad. Go there and drop 30 on you. Yeah. How many times have you did that this year? I want to talk about this uh, one too. Some more, some of your accolades of the season, but. Like, that's a different feeling when you can, that's instead of just place. pouting I've or something. 30, I've dropped 33 times. Okay, okay, my bad. <laughs> close, to 30, close to 30. How long are your guys' times? games? 40 minutes. Yeah, or 10 minutes. Or 30 or minutes, minutes, or 30 points. Minutes. And he's forced yes. to sit with at least five minutes. Also, they do, like, it's kind of like everybody's got to play. Yeah. I feel like that's... Yeah. Okay, so she's got to stay to let everybody else play for... What happened? I said every game, he, the most he ever said was five minutes. Like the coach would give any other. <laughs> With that point, <laughs> well, go save us. 30 points a game. Yeah. Go when he counts us. on those 30 points a game, you know, you got to be out there. Hey, look, we need your 30 points. Here's your five minutes. We're gonna split it up a minute. <laughs> so when you when you have these when you have these good games, Jay, when you when you drop whatever whatever points you have and have your stat line, whatever it is, what are you saying? What are you telling dad like that? This is what I want after the game. Like we're going to eat here, or we're gonna. I want this. I want a new a, a Fortnite skin. What are you asking pops for after a, a show out? Uh, I'm not really demanding. It's usually them who reward me for my good games. Nice. So usually Beautiful. they take me somewhere. My man going to Raising Canes, no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> I can always do Raising Canes. Shaking all day. <laughs> Box combo. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. It's not bad. It's fine. Not bad. Um, let me see. Where are we at? But anyway, so, uh, Jacoby, quick question for you. Uh all right, so you're a point guard. Were you always a point guard growing up? Is that something that um, that yeah, you push towards Jay, or is that something? I actually was a shooting guard. Nice, I okay. Really, I, I, rather, I didn't really like to dribble that much back then, so I just like to get in my spots and put it up. Well, uh, yeah. I had to trans- transition to a point guard because I was so short. And at the next level, <laughs> a shooting guard is more like 6'3", six, 6'4". Six, so I had to learn – like one summer, I just focus on just dribbling. The whole summer, just dribbling, 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 and then I got. And when, my when you up. guys, when you guys train together, do you guys typically focus on one thing at a time? So, like, if you guys are going, or you know, hey, you know, this week we're going to focus on dribbling, or this week we're focused on shooting, or do you guys do like a mix uh, of each kind of every day? I'll take what I saw in the prior games, and then I'll write them down, and then when we go and train, or train that week. I'm like, okay, you, you can't go left. You're always going right. We're going to go nothing but left this whole day. So that's more depth than I thought it was going to be. Nice. <laughs> I like that. Oh, yeah, that's what like, you're yeah, doing, I pick things that he's not doing right in games, and I implement them in our trainings. How do you focus on that? I feel like when you're – like, I feel like uh, – I know a lot of the times when my dad was watching me play and he was even coaching – He'd be more focused at yelling at me for some reason. <laughs> How do you focus on on the different things? I mean, I, I mean, are you do you see that for all, for uh, everybody on the court, or is that just a vision that you have that you kind of see those things, um, or is that something that you focus on specifically with Jay? I learned that it was easier to talk to Jay when I was able to make connections with things he did wrong in the game that made him mad. And I'm like, if you would have did it this way, you would have been happy because you would have got the results you wanted. Yeah. So make it talk to him that way work more than me just tell him like you keep doing the same thing wrong because he shuts down so i just yeah. got to make connections so it makes sense to him um do you guys uh watch film do you guys record and like go yeah. film at all yeah that's just the camera woman but 
Bet. She only records the good, so it's not really much. I got to come from memory. Like, yeah, but you missed that layup. She ain't get that. Like five seconds before that, this is what we needed to watch. But yeah, good. she's the highlight reel. But I, I take mental notes. Yeah. Are you, like, that, and that's an issue. You got 30 sorry, points, you got... but you missed six free throws. <laughs> You can have 36. Yeah. Don't be looking like Shaq out there. Yeah, he could have had like 41 games, but he missed like four layups, six free throws. So practice on those things that week. Kind of get better on those things. That was get... 100 free. I told him shoot free throws till he couldn't see the rim no more. <laughs> yeah, I start to bleed, right? It's like, that's how you got to do it. Jay, uh, where do you, uh, you want to go to high school at? What's uh, uh-huh. where, where are you thinking? I know we got options out here. I know you, you can go anywhere you want to. What are you thinking? I'm not 100% sure yet. You just worry about middle school. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you get through that first. Like, yeah. uh, you're going to be upset. Your team ain't good again. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, let me see. What time is it? Um, anyway, so, Jay, another question for you. When you're shooting free throws, are you, is there, do you have a routine? Is there something that you do every time before you shoot? Or is there, or you just kind of go up there, you focus on the, on the rim? What, what, what kind of, what kind of uh, mental preparation do you go through before you shoot a free throw now that I know that you guys have been working on it? Those are the praise. I go. <laughs> So, Don't miss this or I'm gonna be here all night. Is that what you're thinking? No, I'm just kidding. So I'm usually on the line um, when I'm there. I usually I was getting there shooting them. So when I started making them, I just practiced that rhythm at home and brought it back into games. I just told him you just gotta shoot the same shot, like the reason LeBron struggles so much is because he shoots so many different styles of free throws. And like, if you shoot the same shot consistently, more than likely it's yeah. going in. Like, yeah. Uh, muscle memory, just like you yeah, said earlier with, like, the free, with the threes. You get that with the free throw. I mean, I mean, I guess that's that's how you get at it. I mean, there's a lot of people, I guess, that don't practice. Well, I don't know if Shaq ever practiced. Shaq didn't practice. He didn't practice. Though. Yeah, he didn't have to. He only yeah. shot from three feet away. He didn't have to. He was too big. <laughs> Shaq was huge. He, he just he just manhandled people. Like yeah, yeah, that's just too weird. Must be nice. Must be nice, yeah. You know, but point guards, you got to struggle a little bit more. You got to be faster. You got to be quicker. Got to be able to dribble. Got to be able to shoot. Got to be able to pass. That's why I feel yeah. like that's one of the most dynamic positions because you got to do everything. You can't just got to be the smartest player on the court. Right, you got to be quarterback. The, the it's the field a quarterback general, basketball court, you know? field general, right there, is the point guard usually. So, um, uh, Jay, when when you're doing stuff, do you guys do you guys run run a lot of plays right now? Are you guys running plays, or are you guys, uh, you know, yeah. running things off your like uh, Jay running ISO? Like, <laughs> right out, back up, back up. cross, cross, cross. Yeah, well, yeah. Let's talk. About what's your what's your go to move? Uh, I've been practicing this like. Take hard and step back into a spin move and Ooh. go into the basket. Ooh. Oh, and driving? Okay. Okay, nice. I like that. Changing up a little bit. I was going to think you were going to say that the hard and step back into a pull-up. Like, you said drive it afterwards? I like that. I like that. That's dope. You be coming up with all kinds of random moves. <laughs> I don't know if that's legal. <laughs> Hey, you gotta you gotta practice them and see if they work. If they work, and nobody it, you know, you know, you never know for when sure he, who's he gonna said, call what now. You know, he said hard and step back. I already knew that was probably not illegal in the first place. I was like, yeah, oh. I think the ref to call. He don't blow the whistle. Trouble. It's good times. I love it. I love it. Um, did you guys? Did you guys have a playoffs for your for your league, or is it just? Yeah, they made. They won the first round. They lost in the second round. Oh, you guys do? Oh, okay, you guys lost in the second yeah. round. Of playoff. How, how'd that go? You can talk about that a little bit? How'd that? So it was crazy. We ended up playing against um, two players that we coach on our AU team, and they were on the other team. And 
that it was like you? one of the there was two 12 year olds in the league and he was one of them so my man was like five four five eleven he was, he was like five seven five eight <laughs> grown man he had like 20 points 18 rebounds seven, 12 eight, assists seven, eight, eight. 10 blocks <laughs> We check his birth certificate? Yeah, right? No, he was 12. For real. He was 12. My man, yeah. He just went through, he just started puberty, full goatee. Full beard, huh? Yeah. But yeah. I mean, I think, they, it's funny. They I think, him, and then Jalen had to go out for his five minutes, and then it got ugly. I think they went on like a 20 0 run. Oh. What's funny about that is sometimes you, find those, sometimes you find those kids that have those early girth, uh, growth spurts. I can't remember. There's a couple people in, in ours. They were like, they were like five five eight at like nine years old, and then they stayed five eight. Yeah, <laughs> it was just like yeah. in high school. You're like, oh, that was nice. That's and I'm at you. Nothing in their name, but that didn't. Yeah, they were just they were just big for nothing. So. Yeah, that'll happen. That'll happen too. It's crazy how like things develop. Like it could be something that where you know somebody was the you know the the bee's knees, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Before yeah. and then all of a sudden you know you, you get to high school and you're still five seven and you're like, yeah, oh. that would suck. <laughs> That will happen, though. That will happen. So uh, he's still waiting on his um, first spurt. It, it, he got a little while. Mine, while. mine came. I think. I think I had. I had my my baby voice until twenty five. Like, first of all, watch twenty six years old. Watch out, both of y'all. <laughs> both of y'all know my voice changed anyway. <laughs> huh? Still waiting on my growth spurt. Don't talk about that. It's too late for you, bro. It's too late. <laughs> but. <laughs> I'm gonna put on some Timberlands. <laughs> I'll be five eleven. Then you won't be able to float. You're just gonna sing. I play basketball on Timberlands too. <laughs> Doesn't sure. matter. Sure. Cub, you been watching? Uh, you watch Big Three? The Big Three league at all? Yeah, uh, Ice Cube. Yeah, yeah, Ice Cube's league. Yeah, yeah. I've been, I've been trying to tell you, like, so many cats can still play. I'm saying, I don't care oh, if yeah. you're 34, 35. Like, they could, uh, they can make a rock. Huh? Katino Mobley, he like forty five. He's a yeah. bucket. Yes. Didn't they Chuck just bring back that? They nice. Didn't they bring back what's the name from Boston? Uh, Big Baby. No, Isaiah Tom. Didn't they bring Isaiah back? Isaiah's yeah. in the league again. He's on the uh, yes. Hornets. He was playing. A, was he playing Big Three? No, nah, he was playing in the G League, killing. That was like. Oh, he <laughs> it was like, what Big you doing? Like bring him back. He's, He's still ready, coach. Put yeah, the Lakers in. tried it. It didn't work out. <laughs> yeah, he was like, it's not going. <laughs> yeah, they needed more than Isaiah. They needed a lot. Yeah, imagine being Most Isaiah. Disappointing Lakers like season in a while. That's that's crazy. Who do you think's gonna win? Who do you think's gonna win the championship this year? The Warriors. Oh, with the as it's coming from the Wait, with the Lakers. I was gonna say that's, that's a yeah. Laker hat. I saw the Laker earlier. Hat on. Turn it around. Let me see. Yeah, that. Turn, yeah turn, it, turn it forward again. Let's that's see. We know, that's a good We know who ain't going to win it. <laughs> They're going to be they watching it with us. Playing. They couldn't even play in. <laughs> they, made, they made four extra spots for somebody to get in the playoffs, and they still couldn't do it. Like, Yeah, that's, that's bad. I mean, to be honest, it's out of the um, Suns, Grizzlies, or Warriors. I feel like it's coming out the West. Okay, but who? I need somebody. I need somebody. I'm going to go to state just because. Because you all, y'all, we're, 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 we're going to now. Well, we're going we're to so save this clip. The Lakers are out more your The end of the season, and if you're right. Yeah, we're going to pin this clip. I'm not right going to give you any money or anything, but Wesley will. <laughs> you <laughs> you too, Jay, you feel the same way? You think the Warriors? Yeah. That boy, staff is different, huh? I didn't see Clay. How's Clay doing this year? He's coming around. I think last game he had like 34. He averaging 30? No, I think he averaging like 22. That's wild. Didn't he not make the top 75 players? No, nah, it's because he kept getting injured. He was like 77. He's close. I'm <laughs> mad. If I was 75, <laughs> who was 75? I got to figure out who 75 is. Cause... I forgot. Figure that, figure that out. He got to go. Soon. He probably got to go. Because if, it's if really he, didn't, he didn't make it, I don't, I don't, I'm not seeing how somebody, it's probably Kyle, Kyle Lowry or something, huh? 
Well, he's really looking at it. Up. He's really looking at it. Up. Up. I'm kind of interested to find out who it is. <laughs> Kareem's number one. Those are in alphabetical order. Oh, it's not. Oh, that's oh, not okay. Wrong list. <laughs> anyway, so uh, so what are you guys doing? Uh, what are you guys doing now? What's you guys' kind of plan for the next uh, season? We've been moving, so we almost moved all the way in. Yeah, yeah, and congratulations again on uh, buying, buying yeah, a place. Here, man. An awesome man. Moved, uh, a new house, a new baby. To office too. Yeah. So we've just Absolutely. been working on different projects. Staying busy is key. You know what I'm basketball break. Yeah, that's important. Taking that time off from yeah, get yeah. that mental clarity. Yeah, yeah. Time to be a time to be a, a kid for a little bit because every yeah. you know I Go feel like some, during the season, some Fortnite. It, <laughs> yeah, some okay, well, you know, for, definitely during the season. It's really it's it's you're you're at it, man. I remember. It. Jay was Jay was triggered by that that Fortnite comment. What'd you say, Jay? <laughs> What'd you say to that? Do uh, you still play Fortnite? I've been playing Call of Duty more now. Can't build oh, no more. Can't build no, no more Fortnite. No it's hard, Fortnite. right? That's how them kids is good. Like they be building too fast, bro. I'm like, no, nah, it's not worth it. Like just, just put me on the floor. I was like, yo, yep, I can't play this no more. It's dude, I'm built a mansion. I'm on the ground. <laughs> This is not the man in front of me. I'm over here just thirsty. Block my ocean view. Like, what is he doing? Yeah, block my ocean view. Like, we got an ocean side or something. That's why. Crazy stuff. All right, guys. I, if we took enough of your guys' time today, um, oh, yeah, we appreciate you guys coming you guys. out. Yeah, absolutely, man. Jay, good luck, man, on the season coming up. Thank uh, you. I know your dad's going to be uh, somewhat hard on you compared to other people, but just know it is for the best. Absolutely. It is for the best. It'll make you a better ball player, I'm telling you right now. And human. Not just ball player. Basketball is not everything, you know. Do that. Yeah. Yes, sir. All right, guys. Well, it was a pleasure, and we will definitely uh, be getting with you guys soon, following up with you and seeing how you guys are doing. Especially. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this episode and you'd like to help support the podcast, please leave a review. If you'd like further information on a daily basis, visit our website, cultureandsports.com, and join our email list. Also, feel free to follow us at Culture and Sports on social media. We'll see you all next week on another episode of Culture and Sports.